Hey, if you clicked on this video, it's probably because you are getting ready to create your very first online coaching package and you want to know what you need to put in there. In this video, I'm going to share with you exactly what you need to include in your online coaching package so that you can get high ticket clients and get your clients amazing results. I attract money, wealth is in my reach. I got everything I want and everything I need. I keep my mind open, abundance overflows. I budget right and I know where all my money goes. I am debt free and money works for me. Money in my sleep, a magnet for prosperity. Ain't nothing wrong with that. What up, Kingdom Builders? Welcome back to my channel. I am Ebony Yvonne, your favorite business coach in these internet streets. I coach corporate professionals on how to turn their skills, talents, and expertise into profitable online coaching businesses. Welcome to Soul Shuck Land. This is my internet home where I teach you how to go from confused to the ethical cash generating boss that we both know you are meant to be. In today's video, we are talking all about how to craft the perfect online coaching package or online program so that you can win over your clients and also deliver them amazing results. Oftentimes when it comes to starting an online coaching business, people have questions about like, where should I start? What should I include in my package? How much should I charge? And in this video, we're going to get into exactly what you need to include in your coaching package so that you can make sure you are able to attract the right clients, but also deliver amazing results for them. And this is going to be part of a five part series all about how to structure your online coaching program. And I'm going to answer all the questions that you might have. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not already a part of the Kingdom Building community and turn on those notifications so you get notified when I upload part two to this online coaching series. All right. So first things first is in this video we're going to talk about how you can actually um, structure your program and what you need to put in your coaching program in order to get your clients results and also so your clients know the expectation what they're getting and they understand what you're offering to them so let's jump right in with the first thing and the core of your coaching package and that is going to be your framework right so when I say your framework your framework is basically the process or the the methodology that you're taking your clients through in order to get them to their desired results so for example in all of my coaching programs and all of my courses they are all based off of my framework that I teach called the p2p blueprint the purpose to profits blueprint right so every single module there are seven steps they are basically designed, okay, these are the milestones that my clients must hit in order to building that profitable online coaching business. So think about the desires that you're helping your clients get and what are the necessary milestones or steps that your client must hit in order to get to that desired result. Now, when it comes to building your framework, I'll probably do an entire separate video on this. So when it comes to building your framework, you want to make sure that you don't add too many steps to where it overwhelms your clients, but you don't want to um, eliminate or not include steps that are going to be important for your clients to get to their results. So for me, my framework is a seven step process and I pretty much don't recommend going over about nine. And when I say nine steps, this is even where you probably have three core pillars and then of each three of those core pillars, you have three sub categories or three sub milestones that your clients must hit. But um, ideally, you'll probably want your framework to be between three to five steps when you're first starting out, just so you can get a feel of how you're going to structure your program, the workflow of it, and all of the logistics. As you work with more coaching clients, you will be able to determine, okay, like I need to take this step out or I need to add this step. And then you can work through the process and really flush out what milestones are absolutely necessary and which ones you 
may need to eliminate or take out altogether. Um, and I'll do a separate video on um, how to know if your framework is working and all that. But in the meantime, you can check out the Girl Stop Gaslighting video where I talk about how to know if your coaching program is working or not. And it will give you a little bit more insight until I make the next video. All right, so first things first is your framework, your process that you're taking your clients through. This is going to be the foundation of how you build out your, your program, right? So once you know the milestones and the steps that you're taking your client through, then you can go to the next step of what you need to include in your coaching package, which is going to be your coaching itself. So you want to set up coaching sessions so that you can support your clients and actually hold their hand and walk them through the process of getting to their desired result, whatever that result may be. So when it comes to setting up your coaching, I recommend starting out with weekly coaching sessions that are between 45 minutes to an hour and then you can adjust based on what you're teaching your clients how your clients are responding you may decide that okay weekly is too much right um clients need time in between to actually do the work and implement the things that i'm teaching them or you may realize that okay like weekly is a great sweet spot but also you want to think about the timing and so the reason why i say that your coaching session should be at least 45 minutes is because i find that if your session is shorter than that then typically there's not enough time for you to engage with your client in that setting to really move them forward in the process of getting to their results but 45 minutes to an hour is typically a good time stamp i find that anything over an hour sometimes the client starts to get tired and burnt out if you're familiar with instructional design and when it comes to adult learning typically everyone suggests that after an hour either you should stop or at least stop and give people like a five or ten minute break and then let them refresh refocus and then come back to the session so if you are structuring your program to where your weekly coaching sessions are over 60 minutes or that hour mark then let's say if you're doing 90 minutes then i would break that up into two 45 minute segments where you go for 45 minutes or maybe go for 40 minutes and then you take a five to ten minute break and then you go for another 40 minutes right because you don't want to bombard your clients with so much information at one time and you also want to give them time to process and intake all of the content and the value that you're sharing with them in your coaching sessions so i always recommend including a weekly coaching session in your package when you're first starting out and then that's going to take us over to the third thing that you want to include in your coaching package and this is going to be any type of supplemental resources that can help your clients along this journey of you helping them to get to that end goal and that result right so when i say additional resources that can be so many different things your resources could include um, videos that go along with what you're teaching your client outside of your one-on-one -on -one sessions with them you can um include tutorials you can include explainer videos you can include worksheets or cheat sheets checklists that help them stay on track with making sure they're doing the work any type of additional resources that are going to be beneficial and support your client getting to that end goal you want to make sure that you include those resources in your program now let's move on to the last thing that you want to include in your coaching package and this is going to be some way that they can get additional support even though you have these weekly coaching calls with them i want you to think about how can you support them outside of those weekly coaching calls what if they get stuck on doing their homework um, and they have a quick question is there a way that you can support them outside of that weekly coaching call instead of them having to wait till the next call you want your clients to be able to build momentum and keep going throughout the process right most of the time when people stop in a process it's because things get too difficult they get stuck something doesn't make sense and what most people do what the average person is going to do in that instance is they just stop 
and they're not going to do anything right and then you know once you stop it's kind of hard to get back on track and get moving again so when i say additional support that can look a lot of different ways and and I have multiple different ways that I offer support to my clients and my customers. And it really depends on the level of what they got from me. If they're inside of my incubator, um, they have access to email support and Voxer support, right? Um, if they purchase one of my self-study courses, they have additional email support um, inside of my incubator and my accelerator. I also have a web-based community where people can come in 24-7 and drop their questions and get feedback. So you want to think about how you can support your clients. Maybe you want to set up Voxer where you can send them quick little notes or they can send you voice notes and ask questions or whatever. You may offer email support. You may have a, a online community for all of your coaching students, whether it's a private Facebook group or you're using a web-based trial or community builder platform like I do but how can you offer additional support outside of your weekly coaching calls to make sure your clients stay on track and they can be supported until they get to the next call so that is very simple right when it comes to building your first coaching package these are the four key things that you want to make sure you include you want to make sure you have a clear framework for the exact step-by-step -step process that you're going to use to get your clients to their desired results you also want to make sure that you include um, a weekly coaching session you want to make sure that you you include additional resources that are going to help them get to that goal and last but not least you want to have additional method for them to get support outside of those weekly calls this is all you need to get started with your first coaching package now this can evolve into other things over time but if you are just starting out the best process and the best practical thing to do is to keep it simple and don't feel like you have to add all of these different things in there to add value to your client to where you're in you end up over supporting them and trying to do all the things and then that leads to you being burned out or your client being overwhelmed so let me know in the comments if you're watching this video it's probably because you're getting ready to create your first coaching package so let me know down in the comments below this video like what type of coaching package are you creating for your clients who it is who is it that you serve let us know down in the comments and if you have additional questions about what to include in your coaching package then drop those questions down in the comments below as well if you want additional resources and support building your online coaching program then make sure you come over and join us in kingdom built society this is a online community for faith walking millennial online coaches who want to be supported in a like-minded community you get access to my private podcast you get access to um, other people who are on the same journey from different backgrounds who have different expertise they can share with you to help you along this journey and it's just a high vibe community where we love to um, fellowship and support one another so if you are about that life check out the first pinned comment below this video and come join us in King built society and if you want a deep dive and more support you can always hop over and join us inside the kingdom built incubator for deep support access to product reviews offer reviews um, program audits and all of that goes down in the incubator Thank you so much for stopping by my internet home. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those notifications so you'll be notified next time I upload a brand new video just like this one. In the meantime, feel free to check out these two videos right here. This playlist if you really about that life. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all. <laughs>